Good morning. I hope that you had a good week and you had a great time on the Walk for Water yesterday. I'm looking forward to seeing your pictures on the Bethany Facebook page. If you haven't texted me a picture yet of your family, it's not too late. Please go ahead and send that because I'd love to see everybody. Um, and I hope that next weekend to have a final number on what we were able to raise to contribute to this important cause of giving families access to clean water around the globe. So thank you so much for your participation in the walk. Um, today, we're going to talk about something that you can't see, but yet you know that it's there. So right now, I'm starting to feel a breeze. And I'm wondering how you can tell that I can feel the breeze. You can see the streamer moving. So are you convinced that there is wind even though you don't see it? We can't see the wind, but we sure know what it's doing. Do you know what this reminds me of in the Bible? I'll give you a hint. It's an amazing gift left for us when Jesus ascended to heaven to be with, his, with God. Do you know what that is now? Jesus promised us a helper, and that helper is the Holy Spirit. So I know you've all heard the Holy Spirit mentioned before, part of the Trinity with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Um, and we don't see the Holy Spirit because it lives inside of us. And uh, just like the wind today from the fan, we can't see it, um, but we still know that it's there. And the Holy Spirit is always with us. So it's always there to bring us comfort and help. All we need to do is to pray and, and ask for that help, and it's always available to us. So I hope that that brings you some comfort, because regardless of what emotion you may be feeling, whether it's fear or anger or worry or joy, the Holy Spirit is with you. Let's say a little prayer together. God, even though we can't see you, we know you are real. Even though we can't see the Holy Spirit, we know that it is real. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to us to give us comfort through our lifetimes. Amen. I look forward to seeing you all on Sunday School Zoom.